In the previous video, we have implemented our algorithm, so everything works fine and now our map is generated with the road placed correctly. So let's maybe increase the size uh, or the, decrease the field of view. Okay, great. And now we can see the road is pretty short. So this is one issue that we might experience with our algorithm. It can generate a pretty nice road, but it can generate a pretty bad looking road. Now this is very nice but sometimes it generates like something like this this isn't very bad but let's place our uh, two points on the same side now this is a poor looking map and we cannot really yeah there was a good uh, example of a road this is very nice but usually we get this short path that isn't very useful for our game so a cool idea would be to create a generator that avoids such solutions and only generates us a decent looking map. And that's where we want to go into how to optimize our map. And that's where the generic algorithm comes in. So in the next section of this tutorial that I will upload shortly, but it will be early available for my patrons, we will be creating an implementation of a genetic algorithm that will optimize our a map generated from our algorithm. So basically we will have this brain script that will allow us to create a population of size for example 30 so there will be 30 maps created at the same time and then we are going to iterate over them 10 times uh, mixing them together using the crossover mutating some of those adding and removing some obstacles to achieve what we desire so a long path and we will set those parameters so we want a minimum and a maximum number of corners we might want to set that we do not want this multiple corners near each other very often and we want the uh, obstacle number to be high and of course the primary concern will be the length of our paths so we will have the path weight the obstacle weight the near corners weight and corners weight to change the setting so what we want to achieve we can set the parameters from where should our start and end point be generated and the number of nights of course and then we can run the algorithm and upon a while for me it is about three or four seconds we will be sure to create a pretty decent looking road so we can add some changes to this so instead I have generated a map with low corners weight, so we do not care how many corners we have, but the length of our path is the most important parameter, and it has generated us this long, very long path. So overall goal is to have a generator that constantly produces a valuable result that we can use in some or another form, or at least some kind of control of what our generator outputs, and in this case we are focusing on parameters to create a decent looking path for our for example tower defense game so if you feel like this was a valuable tutorial and you want to have an early access to this future module about genetic algorithm please consider supporting me through patreon the link is in the description for the higher tier donations so five dollars i have prepared a discord channel when you can easily reach me and ask me questions about those tutorials and of course it will allow me to make more of those kind of tutorials. But if you cannot support me through the donation, worry not because I will be releasing this genetic algorithm tutorial later at the end of this week or in the next week. So it will be available to everybody. And also I have this Udemy tutorial on making a city builder game in Unity using best coding practices. If you are interested, there is also a link in the description. For now, take care.